At this point, it's clear the PS Vita was not successful. It's had around 12 million units sold after four years, whereas the PSP sold around the same amount just over a year after its release. There have been a lot of conversations and articles about why the Vita failed, and many people place the blame of Sony. But I don't agree with this, at least not completely. When the Vita was announced, the feedback was very positive on the device and its price, especially compared to the 3DS which was initially priced the same as the Vita, and was seen as inferior and gimmicky. It looked like Sony might steal, the, uh, steal Nintendo's crown as the king of handhelds, and poor initial sales of the 3DS supported this. But Nintendo doubled down on the 3DS, they dropped the price and gave early adopters a bunch of free games. Now the Vita was $90 more expensive and buyers had to also pay for, for the expensive memory cards. And then there was another blow from Nintendo at the end of 2011. As the Vita was launching in Japan, Nintendo released Super Mario 3D World, Mario Kart for the 3DS and Capcom released Monster Hunter for the 3DS which Nintendo had secured. The Japan launch of the Vita was seen as okay but not, not as good as expected. It seemed to me at the time a lot of Western gaming websites jumped on the news and went from being very positive about the Vita to very negative. When the Vita launched in the West it had an amazing selection of launch games. There were over 20 games and although I really enjoyed a good number of them, the Vita was being slammed on gaming websites for not having a killer app. I disagreed with this. Wipeout and Motorstorm are two games I still go back to, but the reputation of the Vita was going downhill. In the months that followed, the Vita did not have many games launched for it. Maybe Sony should have launched the Vita with 10 games and then spaced the rest of the launch games out over a few months. But the lack of games earned the Vita a reputation of having no games. Even when it got big budget games like Assassin's Creed and Street Fighter X Tekken, reviews talked about how they were not as good as their console equivalents. This all culminated in a reputation of the Vita having no games or subpar games. The Vita hasn't fully shaken this reputation even four years after launch, even though it has hundreds of Vita games not to mention PSP and PS1 games too. Sony aren't blameless in all this. There were bad decisions from Sony like the memory card prices, not enough advertising and lack of AAA games. When Nintendo really committed to the 3DS, Sony dropped support quickly. They are a business and they want to make money. If they have a choice between making games for Vita but may not make their money back or making games for the PS4 which has a much larger install base, it's obvious what Sony will choose to do. As I said, I don't think Sony are blameless in the Vita not selling, but I think the sales of the Vita was really damaged by some smart moves by Nintendo to crush the Vita before it was released and a bad and false reputation the Vita picked up for not having any games. In addition to this, the Vita had to compete with smartphones which is enough for a lot of people when it comes to gaming. Thanks for watching and let me know your thoughts. Do you think Sony is to blame for the Vita not selling?